Have you ever wondered how some people seem to save a lot of money using unconventional methods? In the vast ocean of life hacks, some are less than ethical, used primarily for saving money. It's crucial to understand that discussing these practices is not an endorsement but an exploration. We aim to shed light on these practices to raise awareness about their existence and potential repercussions. With this understanding, we can better navigate the complex world of personal finance. Let's dive into the world of unethical life hacks. Starting off with the first hack, return fraud. This is where people buy items, use them for a short while, then return them for a full refund. It's particularly common with clothing and electronics. People essentially borrow the items for a short-term use, only to return them later, often claiming they were faulty or not as advertised. This practice, while seemingly harmless, is actually a form of theft and can have serious legal implications. Moving on to the second hack, pirating digital content. This is when individuals download movies, music, software, and books illegally, bypassing any payment to the creators or distributors. It's a widespread method to save money, but it's a direct violation of intellectual property laws and robs creators of their deserved revenue. It's not just unethical, it's also illegal. Our third unethical life hack is coupon fraud. Some people use fake or expired coupons to get discounts. This not only affects retailers, but it also disrupts the economy by undermining genuine promotional efforts. Remember, if a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. Next, we have freeloading. This is when individuals pretend to be potential customers to get free samples, consultations, or trial periods with no intention of making a purchase. It's a deceptive way to get freebies and can cause significant harm to businesses, particularly small ones. Finally, for our fifth hack, we have sharing subscription services. This is when people share passwords for subscription services like Netflix, Hulu, or Spotify with multiple people. While it may seem like a savvy way to save money, it's technically against the terms of service and could be seen as theft of services. And that wraps up our first five unethical life hacks. Remember, while these tactics may save you money in the short term, they are unethical and could have serious legal and financial consequences. Always strive to be honest and ethical in your actions. It's not just the right thing to do, it's also the best way to ensure long-term success and peace of mind. Moving on to our sixth hack, writing fake reviews. It's a sad truth that some people choose to write false positive reviews for a product or service in return for monetary gain or free products. This tactic not only misleads genuine customers, but also unfairly skews the market in favor of those willing to engage in such dishonest practices. Next up, we have job application lies. It's not uncommon for individuals to exaggerate their qualifications, skills, or experience on resumes and during job interviews. The aim is to secure a position that they may not be fully qualified for. While it might land them the job, it's a disservice to employers and an unfair disadvantage to truthful applicants. The eighth hack involves underreporting income. Some individuals intentionally report less income on their tax returns in an attempt to evade taxes. This practice not only constitutes tax fraud, but also undermines the public services funded by tax revenues. It's a quick way to save money, but at the expense of communal benefits. Now let's talk about exploiting return policies. There are those who take advantage of companies' liberal return policies by returning items that are used or damaged falsely claiming they were in such condition upon purchase. This unethical behavior can lead to stricter return policies, affecting honest customers who need to make legitimate returns. Finally, we reach falsifying expense reports. Some employees inflate or fabricate expenses in their reports to receive higher reimbursements from their employers. It's a scam that not only affects the company's bottom line, but also puts honest employees at a disadvantage. So, there you have it. We've now covered 10 unethical life hacks people use to save money. Although they may seem like smart ways to cut corners, it's important to remember that they come with a cost. Not just a potential financial penalty if caught, but also the cost to one's integrity and the trust of others. As the old adage goes, honesty is the best policy. Let's continue with our 11th hack, ghostwriting. Ghostwriting is when someone hires another person to write academic papers or professional reports and then submits them as their own work. This is not only unethical but often violates academic integrity policies as well. Next, we have cheating on tests. This involves using unauthorized materials, copying from others, or obtaining test answers beforehand to achieve better grades. It's not just unethical, 
but it also undermines the educational process and devalues the hard work of others. Moving on to number 13, we have scalping tickets. This is when individuals buy tickets in bulk for popular events and then resell them at inflated prices. While it might seem like a clever way to make a quick buck, this practice exploits fans and is generally against ticket sales policies. Our 14th hack is squatting in homes. Some individuals find vacant homes and squat without paying rent, exploiting legal loopholes to live rent-free until they are evicted. While it might save money in the short term, it's not a sustainable or ethical way to live. Finally, we come to our last unethical life hack, claiming undeserved discounts. This is when people pretend to be a student, a senior or a veteran, to get discounts that they are not entitled to. It's not just dishonest, but it also takes away resources from those who truly deserve and need them. These life hacks might seem tempting, especially when money is tight. However, it's important to remember that they are not only unethical, but often illegal as well. Instead of resorting to these tactics, consider finding legitimate ways to save money. There are many resources available that can help you budget, save, and spend wisely without resorting to dishonesty or fraud. With that, we have covered all 15 unethical life hacks. Remember, while these shortcuts might save you money in the short term, they can lead to serious consequences down the line. Always strive to act with integrity and respect for others in all aspects of life. Let's quickly recap the unethical life hacks we've discussed. From return fraud, pirating digital content, coupon fraud, freeloading, sharing subscription services, writing fake reviews, lying on job applications, underreporting income, exploiting return policies, falsifying expense reports, ghostwriting, cheating on tests, scalping tickets, squatting in homes, to claiming undeserved discounts. Remember, while these hacks may save money, they come at a cost to our integrity and can lead to serious consequences. Always choose ethical ways to save money.